So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Martin Reinert. I'm here in a hotel room in San Diego thinking about the meaning of life, a topic that everyone has to address either implicitly or explicitly. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how my research has influenced my perspective on life. I was first attracted to programming because it offered the prospect of perfection. Programs were hard digital objects with sharp crystalline boundaries. If you managed to get it right, it was perfect with no ambiguity. Programming let me design my own worlds with their own internal logic and balanced design. And because the language in which I expressed the program could be either beautiful or ugly, I started designing new languages that helped me capture the idea in the most elegant way. I believe this basic aesthetic was shared by many computer scientists and programming language researchers at the dawn of the field in the 1960s and 1970s and has had a deep influence on the field to this day. But perfection is attainable only for small things and people are motivated to develop at and beyond their capabilities. As I moved into program analysis and started working with larger programs written by others, I found that the focus on perfection was, in many ways, counterproductive. Standard approaches were predicated on the assumption of perfect execution and terminated the program at the first sign of any problem, making programs fragile and brittle. So I developed simple mechanisms for repairing damage and continuing to execute in the face of imperfection. The empirical results showed that, once liberated from frameworks premised on the counterproductive expectation of perfection, computer programs have enough inherent redundancy to exhibit robustness and resilience, not unlike biological organisms. Now, biological organisms have at least two ways of dealing with errors and damage. Repair and continue to live, or reproduce to leave the damage and errors behind, then die with a new generation in place. I am now exploring ways to learn and regenerate programs to obtain many of the benefits for software, that biological organisms gain through reproduction. So what does all of this say about the meaning of life? Software and life are more similar than many people think, and you can learn a lot about life through working with software. One thing I've learned is you need to keep the balance. Understand the downside of holding out for something you can't get, and know when good enough is better than good. And understand the power of being able to keep moving, oblivious, and leave problems behind unsolved, but at the end of the day, just irrelevant. Of course, that isn't the end of the story. We are still going and looking forward to everything we'll learn in the future.